You know the, the, um, the Donald Trump mentality? Donald Trump is a very, very powerful, multi-billion dollar executive, right? And he's, you know, I don't even, I think he's got a TV show too where he's making people into entrepreneurs and things like that. Bottom line is he's a real estate tycoon more than anything else, right? And you know how real estate in this society works. You buy, and you, you buy, but you don't pay for it. You use your credit to buy, and you don't make the maximum payments. You make what? The minimum payments. And now your credit is being built. When your credit is built, you buy again. You rent it out or whatever. And you keep building your empire. Now, if, if Donald, the Donald Trump-like billionaire was to pay off every one of his properties today, would he still be a billionaire? No. What's his idea? His idea is, how long am I going to live? Another 50 years? 60 years? 100 years? How long am I going to live? I'm going to live a billionaire, and after that, if my payments aren't being made, who cares? I already partied my way out. So this entire deficit will, go, will be passed down to the next generation. I couldn't care less. So the, dollar, the value of the dollar goes down, people's dollar at the grocery store doesn't go that far, and it can be blamed on him, but what does he care? He already did his partying and he's gone. In other words, don't think about anyone but who? Yourself. جَمَعَ مَالًا وَعَدَّدَ This is the, the, at the heart of capitalist thinking. At the heart, at the core of it. Now compare this to the mind of the Muslim. Uh, just one more smaller example, because this is dealing with economics, right? A home. You know, home ownership in this country is a big deal. And of course it bubbled and collapsed and all of that. But just put it in very simple economic terms, even like a, an elementary school child can understand. A hundred years ago, somebody buys a house. You know, somewhere in New York City, somebody, somebody buys a house. Let's say they pay 50000 for it. But they don't buy it cash, and they don't buy it interest-free, they buy it on a mortgage. So they end up paying over 30 years, not 50000 what do they end up paying? 150000 Okay, now it's time for them to sell it. Are they going to sell it for 60000 No, they ended up putting in 150, so they should at least sell for 200 and 250. So they sell it for 250. The next buyer comes in, buys the place for 250, but he didn't buy it cash. What did he buy it on? Credit. So he's not going to pay 250. Over 30 years, he'll pay 400, 500,000. When time comes for him to sell it, it keeps going up, right? So what's happened is, first of all, the value of the currency went down. Second of all, those who could own a home 100 years ago, with that kind of money, can they still own a home generations later? No. So you made the opportunity for the next generation more and more and more impossible. This is what riba does. This is what jama'a malan wa addadah does. It creates problems for the future. Now compare this to the Muslim mind. The Muslim mind is, you know, you have an old man who's already got a foot in the grave and he's planting a seed in the ground for a tree to grow. And you ask him, you're not going to be, you're not going to live long enough for this tree to grow. And he says, well, it will give somebody shade one day, sadaqa jariya for me. This is the mind of the Muslim, right? It's, that's what it's supposed to be. We think about how the future will be benefited. Not, you know, live, eat, sleep, drink, and die. That's it. You know, this is, the, this is the, the reversal of thought. And that's really, when we read this stuff, we shouldn't just think about what's happening, you know, a millennium and a half ago. This is, these are realities of our time. These are, these are serious problems of our time. And unfortunately, just because we're Muslim, doesn't mean that we haven't been engrossed in the deepest depths of the black greed of capitalism. We ourselves have become really nasty capitalists ourselves. And we don't think about the greater good and serving society and building the kinds of institutions, right? We've become people of Allah, may Allah protect us from it and get us out of this mess.